welcome to day two of vlogmas guys this morning i went to my grandma's house and i did a little bit of decorating with my family over there we just helped her out a little bit putting some stuff up in the yard for her i'm gonna have you guys get ready with me then we're gonna do a teeth whitening kit from purely white and see how this works it says results in seven minutes so we're gonna try it and see if it does what it claims to do. I do the same look every single day, so I kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit today and do something a little less the same. <laughs> but I think I'm honestly just going to switch up my lip because if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer on my head. I'm using P. Louise uh, Toffee Toast Cream Bronzer, and I actually really like this stuff because it blends out so nice. Like. Like, how much more seamless can you get than this? Using Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown for my brows. I accidentally waxed, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a little piece there. I waxed a little bit of that off, I think, by accident, because I was just, like, practicing in my suite, and I was trying to, like, I was just bored, and I was like, oh, let me get, like, the little hairs there, and I accidentally got it all over myself and I tried to like remove it really carefully without getting it on me like without getting it on any other brow hairs and I ripped a small little chunk out so kind of sad okay so I'm gonna come to back when it's time to do the lip because that's gonna be the best part or actually before I do the lip I'm gonna do the teeth whitening kit because there's no point in doing the lip if I have to white my teeth right so I didn't really switch up my makeup. I just did a little bit more, but the way that my blush came out today, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I haven't done my makeup really good like this in a while. Okay, so we're going to read the directions and see what we have to do. So I'm gonna open this up. Oh, okay. So this is what it looks like. Um, we have these little syringes. This look looks legit. <laughs> Here are the steps. They make it super simple and easy for you. So step one is to brush your teeth. Step two is to apply the syringe stuff. I think you do it into one of these. White in and then you rinse with water. So first I need to brush my teeth before we start because that was like the first step. So we are going to use this toothbrush, the ultrasonic whitening toothbrush. And I'm really excited to use this toothbrush because one, it's black and I love anything that's black aesthetic. And two, I've been needing a new toothbrush and I really wanted an electric one. So this is perfect. Very nice and sleek. Replacement heads are underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and take all these out. And this is the charger in the bottom too. Okay, so there's actually a lot of different settings on here. There's clean white polish sensitive and gum care i'll probably use the sensitive one because my teeth are really sensitive and this is the head so there's two in here actually so we're gonna go ahead and put one back in there pop this on here nice and tight sounds like a phone ringing Let's go brush our teeth with this, and then we're going to come back and do the the rest of it. I'm just going to put my hair back in a clip for now. I'm going to do it later, but for right now, just so that we can do the teeth whitening and brushing, I'm just going to put it up in a clip. I usually use Colgate Optic White um, Toothpaste. This, like, whitens your teeth so good. Official, like like I'm about to do like uh like I'm about to inject uh lip injections in somebody it's, it's three of the little lines for the top and then three of the little lines for the bottom so we're gonna go ahead and I guess three for the bottom okay so 10 minutes is how long you're supposed to leave it in for and it will automatically go off once the 10 minutes is up it, the light just shuts off itself so i'm just gonna rinse out my mouth and we will see the results i really feel like that worked like this is just one time guys so obviously it's not gonna be 
as big of a difference. I also have this serum and I'm wondering if I should try this too, if I can do both. So this is the serum. You're just gonna put two pumps on your toothbrush, brush your teeth for 30 seconds, and then rinse your mouth after you spit it all out. So we're gonna try this too and then see how everything looks. We're gonna have to put it on again because it came off. So one, two, This is after the serum and like my teeth don't hurt like usually after Crest White Strips my teeth hurt so bad and these not at all. Now that my teeth are white, let's do a lip. I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. Charlotte Tilbury has some of my favorite lip liners just because they apply so smoothly. And now we're going to do the Hot Chocolate Fenty Heat and apply this all over the lips this is my new favorite gloss too i just feel like it's such a nice color okay so we got a bunch of snacks from trader joe's um, i'm going to show you guys what i got first and then we're going to do a little taste testing i got these cinnamon bun inspired truffles i figured i'd make things like holiday themed to go with vlogmas these english toffee bites these look really good and then these aren't holiday themed but i love cheese so i got this tapas spanish cheese tapas sampler and then i'm also going to try one of these spicy tempura seaweed snacks apparently they're really really good so we're going to start with the salty stuff first these are actually really good mm -hmm. and another time sticking with salty i'm going to try these cheeses I'm going to just take a bite of each of them and I think leave them for later and then we'll get to the sweet stuff because if I eat too many different things like salty and sweet and stuff, I'll get sick. Iberico, Cabra, and Monchengo. <laughs> We're taking a bite of Iberico first. Okay, it tastes like Parmesan cheese kind of. Now, Cabra. It's not bad, but it kind of tastes like Saganaki. I don't know if you guys know what Saganaki is. <laughs> and this is Manchengo. This is like a mix of both of them, I think. They kind of all taste the same. And wash this down with some water. And now we're gonna try. Which one should we try first? This is what they look like. They look really good, actually. Mmm. These are good. Mm. Now, they're good, right? So the cinnamon bun inspired truffles also if you are a truffle fanatic best cheese ever cheers it's like ash <laughs> and i thought sorry ew don't get these ones cinnamon bun inspired truffles nasty okay so i'm gonna close out vlogmas day two here thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day three